Hi yogis, welcome to Honor Yoga Now. I'm Liz Alvarez and today we'll be doing a practice that will be focusing on postures for tight hips and hamstrings. So you'll need a few props for the practice today. I would suggest a blanket, a pair of blocks, a strap, and if you have it, a bolster. Let's get started. We'll start out laying on our backs. For this part of the practice, you'll want a strap and a block. And if you don't have a strap, you can use a belt or a sheet or just something that won't stretch, so not something like a resistance band. And if you don't have a block, you can use a stack of books um, or even a cushion or a few pillows. Let's come on to our backs. And let's just start out with a few um, deep cleansing breaths just to ground ourselves and center ourselves. So just drawing the chin towards the chest, take a nice deep breath in through the nose and a long sigh through the mouth. So two more times. Exhaling. And one more time, inhaling through the nose and a sigh through the mouth. On your next inhalation, draw both knees in towards your chest, coming to full wind pose. Flex the feet so all 10 toes are pointed up towards the sky, just seeing how the low back feels today. This pose also helps to stretch your gluteus maximus, big muscle that is a part of your hips and the flexibility of your hips. If you'd like, you can rock from side to side or make small circles on your back. And then bringing both hands to the top of your right knee as you exhale, extend the left leg all the way down the mat. Still flexing both feet, all 10 toes, again up to the sky. Make sure you're relaxing your shoulders and relaxing your jaw. As you inhale, draw the left knee in towards the chest with your hands, exhale, right leg comes all the way down. And I like to gently press my knee of my straight leg towards the floor. This helps to engage my quadricep, but at the same time, it also helps to relax my hamstring muscle. This is called reciprocal inhibition, and we'll use this a lot during the practice today to try to help get us a little bit deeper into our poses. So deep breaths in and out, both legs nice and engaged. And then let's just switch back and forth with our breath to warm up the legs a little bit more. So as we inhale, drawing one knee in, and as we exhale, switching sides. Inhale. And exhale. So you can lower your heel all the way to the floor, or if you want to build a little more heat, you could leave the heel lifted off the floor as you're extending the leg all the way down the mat. But again, just moving with that breath. Inhale. And exhale. Bringing the feet down to the mat, let's take a hold of our strap. And you'll want to have a small loop at the end of your strap or your belt if you're able to. We'll start out by placing the strap around the ball of the foot of our right leg. And we're going to extend our knee all the way up towards the sky. So we're going to start out with a hamstring stretch. So what's important with a hamstring stretch is not how high my foot is getting to the ceiling, but what's important is that my knee is straight. If I have my knee bent like this and my foot up towards the sky, I'm not really getting the most effective stretch on my hamstring because your hamstring muscles cross both your hip and your knee. So to get that best stretch, you want to make sure this is pressed out. We're lightly contracting the quadricep muscle. And again, the knee is nice and straight. So for some people, the stretch might be here, and for some it might be here, and for other people it might be a little bit higher. So wherever it is, just be okay with that. As we're doing our um, poses, we always want to make sure that we're just feeling some stretching, but nothing that's painful. Pain is our body's way of telling us that something is wrong, so we never want to be experiencing pain during any of our practices. And then you can take your opposite leg and, and lengthen it all the way down towards the edge of the mat. And I like to keep this opposite leg nice and engaged as well, flexing the foot, pressing the left knee down towards the floor. So slide your hand all the way down the strap. You don't have to hold it all the way up here in what I call the death grip, right? You want to not create tension any place else. Just let the stretch be where it is, which is in the hamstring.